Welcome to Your Eye Show. I'm your host, optometrist Dr. Ed Wallington, and today we're going to be talking about a Bausch & Lomb contact lens family called Infuse. In that family, there's two types of contact lenses. There's the Infuse, which comes in a 90-pack, and then there is an infused multifocal, which also comes in a 90 pack. So it's only two members to the family. Why? Because this is a this is a brand new family that's out there. This the infuse came out in 2020, and the infused multifocal just came out in June of 2023. Okay, right now it's September of 23 that we're making this video here for the infuse lens. Um, but these are the two contact lenses. This this one here, the infuse. Um, at delivercontacts.com, you can find for $78.99 for a 90 pack. Um, and the the infused multifocal is $102.99 per box. All right. You can only get those prices at delivercontacts.com. At delivercontacts.com, there's they, we always have low prices, um, always free delivery, and no surprises or games or gimmicks or processing fees at the checkout. Um, the prices are what you get at checkout, okay? So go to livercontacts.com if you wanna get your infuse contact lenses. Um, both of these contacts have a lot of the same parameters, so uh, I'm gonna go over them together today. Uh, normally I do these separately, but these, you'll see at the end, I mean, there's they have very much the same technology and parameters, um, so it's just gonna be a lot easier just to go over them together. I'll talk about the infuse first, and then I'll talk about the infuse multifocal at the end. The difference between them is just that the infuse multifocal has um, a, a an extra powered lens, a, bolt, a bifocal in there for people that are over 40 that are starting to lose their up close, okay? <clears throat> so what makes this contact lens special um, is two main things really. Is one, it's a silicone hydrogel contact lens. Um, it has, uh, uh, the, the silicone hydrogel material is called Califilcon A. Um, it's it's in, it's a, in a one day design, okay? So it's a one one day, dispose, you wear it one day and you garbage it. So uh, it, it's a one day design, very, very breathable. Um, and two, it has something called ProBalance technology, okay? So what ProBalance technology, it means that this contact lens during the manufacturing process um, is, is was infused with these proprietary ingredients that make it, uh, um, you know, that, that balance out the tears. So notice how I said infused. So that's where they get the name infuse from. Um, infuse just means to soak or, or steep or to fill up, right? So, so they put all these ingredients into the contact lens so that when you're wearing it, okay, it, these actually ingredients will come out and help the tears along while you're wearing it. Okay. So, um, so, other things that make this contact lens special, it has a very low modulus, which means it's very soft and has a very high water content. So uh, so before I go on, let me just remind you, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, ring that bell for, you know, to be notified um, if you like what we're doing here. Okay, so moving on. So what makes contact lenses um, uncomfortable and unhealthy for the eye is a couple of things, uh, three three main things, and one, first of all, direct irritation to the cornea. And that's where the low modulus comes in. This contact lens is very soft, very flimsy. Um, but I mean, some people are like, I don't like a flimsy, it's harder to handle. You know, I like the flimsy because it's softer on the eye, it bends with the eye. Um, so that's something that you can get over, that's just something, you know, that you, that you can work with, uh, and you'll end up liking it once you get used to how to handle it. Um, the next thing is uh, is the lack of oxygen to the cornea. That's what that's what makes contacts uncomfortable and healthy, is is when a contact doesn't breathe so much. Well, again, this new silicone hydrogel design material that is out now it comes in the monthly lenses, the two weekers, uh, and the one dayers. But with a with, with being in a one day, something that you throw out, no buildup, extreme oxygen permeability. Um, that's just the great way to go. You're going to hear me over and over in these videos going, my favorite lenses are the one day silicone hydrogel materials. Okay. Why? For those reasons, you, 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 you wear it one day and you garbage it and it has lots of oxygen. Okay. But the other thing that, that can bother a contact lens is the disrupt or a contact, how contact lens can bother your eye is a disruption to the tears. Okay. So when you put a contact lens on your eye, um, the, a, a good tear, a good tear has three main components, mucin, oil, and water, all right? The, the oil is also called mebum. But um, if you if you disrupt any of those components, um, then the tear is going to break down, okay? And the tear is what, what keeps our, what, what for the most part, keeps our eye healthy and hydrated, okay? Our, our cornea has to stay healthy and our cornea has to stay hydrated um, 
to, to, to keep its good optics. So light can come into our eye and focus to the back of the eye like it's supposed to. So when you put a contact lens on, they well, again, first of all, you got to have that oxygen to be able to go through the contact lens, and that's where the silicone hydro comes in. So lots of breathability. Um, and then the tears can't be, can't lose their function. Okay. When you wear a contact all day, as you, as you, and you know, you just put that contact right on top of the eye where all the tears are, you can understand how that can disrupt the function of the tear. So you might go, well, a tear is just water. No, it isn't. Okay. Matter of fact, I said three main components, mucus and oil and water. Well, what makes up those three main components is over 650 different ingredients to that tear. <laughs> okay. So that's a lot of ingredients. And that's what this, uh, this probiant technology does okay this probands technology tries to make sure that um, well first of all it has a, a, a very high amount of water in it 55 percent and they say you know and what Bausch and Loam claims is that they can that 96 percent of the uh, um, the water stays in that contact lens throughout after a 16 hour day. That's a lot. Okay. Matter of fact, I, don't, I only tell my patients we're at 12, you know, contact lens, 12 hours. You put them at 8 a.m. They come out at 8 p.m. All right. So the less time during the day, the more oxygen your eye gets at the end of the day, the better. But they're claiming that after a 16 hour day that the contact lens is fully, you know, nearly fully hydrated. Okay. That's, that's pretty cool if that's, if that's real. Um, but the other thing that the, the, this lens has is this, again, the pro balance technology, which is constantly kind of leaking ingredients into the tear to make sure that that tear stays strong and keeps, you know, it keeps out bacteria and keeps out viruses and doesn't inflame. And, you know, so that's pretty cool. So we don't, we don't, they, they do give us some of the different names of, uh, of the ingredients for the contact lenses that, that, uh, you know, that they say, you know, help with osmolarity, um, and, uh, you know, act, you know, as electrolytes and moisturizers. And that, that's just a, a, a few of the, of, of the, you know, agents of those that are in the pro balance technology. Um, and there's others, um, in, you know, this is a this is a unique design. This probiance technology is unique to this infused design. So, um, you know, so it's the only contact lens out there. And since it's the latest of Bausch and Loam, you're getting, you know, their best right now. And you know, this is this is their big dog. This is this Bausch and Loam. Um, you know, all all the companies have a, a you know one or two different um, one day contact lenses. And this is really Bausch and Loam's number one contact lens that's out there. Okay, so um, so let's move on to the uh, the uh, multifocal design in the infuse, the infuse multifocal. So the infuse multifocal, uh, the design is called the three zone design. The three zone design is you can already find in the presbyopic lenses for the ultra in the bio true, which are also Bausch and Lohm lenses. Okay, um, so if you like those designs, <clears throat> if you're in the the the, the bio true and you want to upgrade to the more breathable contact lens in this infuse um, or if you're in the ultra and you want to go from the monthly to a one day and you really like that three zone design well you're going to get the same thing okay so Bausch and Loma's had a lot of success with these other lenses so uh, uh, this this presbyopic design so they they are using this exact same design if you know in the uh, in the infuse so you know if it ain't broke don't fix it and they, they feel like they have a good product here and um, and for those of you that wear the Bausch and Loma, um, it's it's a it's the same design so if you like that just just move right on up um so what this is is that you know what happens to our eyes everybody's eyes everybody in the world okay men women you know uh, uh, usa you know across the oceans everybody in the world loses their ability to to flex their lens in their eye okay between the ages of 40 and 53 all right, so it's not that we lose our muscles or eyes. We lose flexibility of, a, of something in our eye called our lens, okay? Light's supposed to come into our eye, go through our pupil, go through our lens and focus in the back of the eye. We're supposed to be relaxed and light's supposed to focus in the back of our eye at a point called the fovea. When we look up close at something, light is divergent, which pushes a point back behind our fovea, okay? When light gets pushed back behind our fovea, these muscles in the eye can flex and turn the lens to a round shape in order to see up close. Okay, when we look back far away, we relax those muscles and we can see far away. Okay, so the muscles flex, lens goes round. Muscles relax, lens flattens out. Okay, round, near, round, <laughs> near, far, near, far. All right, so we have this flexibility in the lens to, to uh, allow us to focus. But what makes that lens flexible is the elastic proteins that are in that lens. 
Okay, right about the age of 40, those elastic proteins start to harden. And when they harden, well, the muscles have to work hard to get the same job done, okay, until eventually the muscles can't flex that lens anymore, and then muscle, and then the lens just keeps hardening and hardening until it's as hard as a rock, and, you know, who cares how strong your muscles are, you're not going to flex a rock, right? That's called presbyopia. Everybody in the world goes through it, okay? So what you need, say, if, if the muscles can't do the focus, your lens can't change shape and focus, what do we need? Well, we need a a lens that's going to do that focusing for us. We need additional power. You know, we need a power in addition to our far away prescription. We need additional power up close. So we call it add power. All right. We bring those points closer by adding power. And the three zone design has three different powers in it. It has a an outer ring, which is for our far away, a middle ring, which is more for like arm's length, and a center ring, which is for near. It's actually not rings; they're zones. Okay, because because the because it's actually it's actually it's aspheric, which means it's it's a gradual thing for the focus. Okay, but the but the main components in the in that focus system is far, middle, and near. And the near goes to the center because when we look at things up close, our pupils get smaller. When our pupils get smaller, it kind of hones in on the center of the lens. Because you know, so if you had if you had distance in the center and your pupil gets smaller, well, you wouldn't see any near, would you? Okay, so they got to put that near in the center. Um, and, and that's what Bausch and Lohm has done with the three zone design. And, uh, you know, so it works, works pretty nicely for, for, uh, uh, for focusing. Um, so, uh, but, but, um, with this design, they, they found that, that they don't need like, a, some of the designs have a, a low, a medium and a high. Well, Bausch and Lohm only has two powers. It has a low power and a high power. Okay. The low power covers, uh, you know, if you were going to translate your spectacle lens, your glasses into a contact lens power, um, the plus 75, plus one, plus 125 and 150 generally, okay, not always, but generally we'll, we'll get the low ad, um, where 175, two, 225 and 250 will get the high ad power for, uh, uh, in the, um, infuse multifocal okay again your doctor will make that decision based on your discussion with them um, but uh, you know that's you know the typical translation not always uh, so let's move on to the contact lens parameters of both these contact lenses <clears throat> okay so both these contact lenses come in a base curve of 8.6 all right that's the fitting curve and they have a diameter okay the 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 the, the distance across that contact lens um, of 14.2 so one base curve one diameter. They both are made of that califilcon A, that's the silicone hydrogel material, okay? And that silicone hydrogel material is what's more breathable. And we act, there is a measurement for that, uh, uh, for that parameter of how much oxygen transmission that there is, and that's called the DK over T. The, um, the Infuse has a DK over T of 134. All right. Any contact lens that, that's over 100, I say, is a very breathable contact lens. I'm super happy, and I have no worries about giving some uh, a contact lens that has a DK over T of over 100. Well, the Infuse has a DK over T of 134. So, super breathable contact lens. Um, you know, great for anybody that that wants to have a very breathable contact lens or uh, lots of oxygen. Um, and remember, this contact lens has that uh, that. Um, uh, uh, water content of 55%. Um, it also has a light blue handling tint, so that helps you kind of find it in the package and, you know, and put it in your eye. Um, and it also has a class two UV blocker. <clears throat> so what a class two UV blocker means that it has, it has 95% UVB blocking. Okay. Ultraviolet light is the, is the harmful light that we can't see. Um, and the uh, UVB blocking is, is 95% and UVA is over 50%. All right, so that's what makes it class two is that is that 50 percent UVA, over fifty percent UVA and over ninety five percent UVB. Um, the parameters, the uh, the powers that this this these both these contact lenses come in is anywhere from a plus six to a minus twelve. Okay, so that's a nice selection of powers. Uh, and, and once you get over minus six, it goes six fifty, seven seven fifty eight eight fifty. Okay, so half diopter steps over the minus six power. All right, so to sum, the, sum it up, I mean, I've kind of done it this whole time. Um, again, if, if I'm going to reach for a Bausch & Lohm contact lens, my favorite Bausch & Lohm contact lens is this infused, con is this infused contact lens. Why? It's a one-day disposable. 
Okay, it's silicon hydrogel. It has a it has a decay over T of 134. Um, it has a very high water content, so it holds a lot of water to keep that cornea moist. Um, it has a very low modulus, which makes it soft, um, and it has this probalance technology. Okay, which which tries to keep our ears, our excuse me, our tears stable. Um, and that's that's really is the wave of the future for contact lenses. Is, is hey, who can make the best contact lens to stabilize our tears so our so our tears aren't disrupted? Okay, when our tears get disrupted, that's where we get redness and irritation and stuff like that. So it um so of all the contacts that are out there in all the brands, uh, there's you know this the Infuse is right up there um, of my top lenses that you can choose. You can't go wrong with the Infuse. Okay, so um, will it come out with the uh, with the uh, a few uh, the infuse for astigmatism? Probably. Okay, probably that ten, tends to be what they do. They you know uh, companies tend to come out with an infuse, then they go to infuse multifocal, and then into the astigmatism. The astigmatism requires a lot more parameters, a lot more design. Um, you know, so you know maybe, but right now you got the you got the the spherical infuse and you got the multifocal in the infuse multifocal. So yes, I really like this lens. This is a good lens. Double thumbs up for me. Um, and don't forget to go to delivercontacts.com to make your order. Again, $78.99 for the infuse, $102.99 for the infuse multifocal. Um, I'm super happy that you've come this far, come all the way to the end with me. Um, again, if you, if you, if you've come this far, you've probably already liked and subscribed. If you haven't, make sure you do now. And uh, so, again, thank you very much. Um, and hopefully we'll see you soon on our next Your Eye Show.